Isn't it ironic how we go to school to learn but no one ever teaches us how to actually learn? 2021, I'm supposed to begin AS level but we can't quite put the money together for the school fees so I have to wait 3 weeks to begin school. At the time, it felt like the world was plotting against me. Why am I always the one who goes to school late? Yes, this was a recurring theme. But in hindsight, these were probably the most important three weeks of my A-level journey. After bidding myself out for the first week or so, I decided to take matters into my own hands. I decided to learn how to learn. Fast forward two years later, I got straight A stars. And here's how. During my A-level journey, I used a three-step system and it went something like this. Let's assume that we're learning a new topic in class tomorrow. I would go on YouTube, search up the topic, watch videos on how it works, making sure to stick very closely to my syllabus. After that, I would go to my textbook and answer questions. And I would compare my solutions to the ones at the back of the textbook. Of course, I would get some of them wrong, which would be an indicator that I didn't quite understand something. So I'd go back to YouTube, look for another video that explains it in a different way and then repeat the same process over and over again until I've understood as much as I could. Then I would move on to step two. This was attending lessons. Because I would have already learned the concept, this would simply be revision for me. And simply correcting any misconceptions I had and clarifying concepts I didn't quite understand. It also gave me an opportunity to ask more intelligent questions. And I know that this is every student's fear to ask a stupid question. So when everyone else was learning the concept for the first time, I was revising it. I was always at least one step ahead of everyone else in the class. Then in the final step, I'd go on to do topical questions. At this stage, it would be very rare for me to get any questions wrong since I've already gone over the concepts multiple times and I've done textbook questions and the teacher has explained everything to me. So at this point, everything makes sense to me and it's unlikely that I get any questions wrong. This was the three-step system that I used for AS level. It sounds very simple, but it's very effective. By the time we finished all this lab I was near perfect, I was already averaging A grades in my past papers. Of course there were some obscure concepts that the syllabus didn't quite detail but this is what past papers are for. The small things that the syllabus doesn't quite go into depth about. So that's what I polished up on using past papers. For A2 I didn't quite follow this three step learning system yet my grades improved. I realized that I didn't have to use the system as much because there's something more important than a good learning system and that's a strong academic foundation. Because I had followed the three-step system so religiously at AS level, I had a pretty solid foundation going into A2. I didn't have to work nearly as hard as I did at AS to get the same grades at A2. In fact, my grades skyrocketed and I was only putting in half the work. I want you to think of it this way. The concepts that you're learning are always constantly building on top of each other. And as long as you build layer by layer, the structure will be solid. And in many ways, the next steps will become intuitive. But if you skip even a single step, then the whole building will come crashing down. So set a strong academic foundation now if you want to 10x your grades in the future. Now on to some more general tips on how to excel in high school. I want you to go back to the time you learned how to ride a bicycle. That's if, if you know how to ride a bicycle. You were probably very young. And imagine if whomever taught you say that, I want you to learn all the parts of a bicycle and their functions. And next week, I'm going to test you on that. And after we complete that assessment, I want you to write a three page essay on the history of the bicycle and its effect on the environment. If that were the case, chances are none of us would know how to ride a bicycle. But isn't this exactly what schools do? They overcomplicate things. Sometimes it's as simple as getting on the bike and falling over and over again until you learn how to find balance. So my next tip is don't fixate too much on the theory of a concept, but instead spend a lot of time working out questions. Do topical questions over and over again. This is your metaphorical bike. With time, you learn to find your balance and those equations will start to balance. Success is the sum of all your failures. Tip number two. Rules aren't for everyone, hear me out. Rules are made to maintain order, but somehow they end up disadvantaging the ones that actually follow these rules. I'll give you a personal anecdote. In my former high school, where I completed my A-levels, there was this rule that restricted us to our gadgets for only one hour each weekday. So that means a total of five hours with my gadget, 
from Monday to Friday. Now imagine this, I'm trying to compete with the best of the best students in the world and I only have my gadget for 5 hours a week and I'm being restricted to textbooks from the 1900s. I mean, what are my chances here? For a while I followed this rule like the obedient model student I was and I understand that they made this rule to prevent people from misusing their gadgets but my grades started to decline and everyone around me kept their gadgets and they were doing just fine. So I decided, you know what? I've had enough. I'm going to break this room. And I did. And my grades went back up. Now please don't abuse this idea. Just be conscious enough to know when a rule that's meant to protect you is harming you. Tip number three. You can learn anything you want for free on the internet only if you know how to search for it. There are many YouTube channels that cover A-level content on YouTube. In fact, this is one of them. YouTube is where I learned most of my A-level content for maths, biology, and chemistry. I remember my chemistry teacher asking me if I took extra lessons outside of school because she was just shocked by how well I was doing in chemistry. And you know what my response was? Nope, just YouTube. I know many students are struggling financially but take advantage of all the resources that you have available for free on the internet. Be resourceful. Tip number four. There are millions of people who have gone through A-levels and loads of them have left behind notes, most of which are available on the internet. Use the notes from people who have already done well in A-levels. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Stop trying to make your own notes. In doing so, you're only wasting your own time. Time that can be spent trying to actually comprehend syllabus content and learning how to apply it to past paper questions. Writing notes may have worked in the past, but the world is changing. Study techniques that were decades ago are nowhere near as effective as present day techniques. Obviously, I didn't go into too much detail of the actual study techniques that I used, but that's because these are quite complicated and frankly, you won't find them useful unless you first employ everything that I've taught you in this video. So master the three-step learning system, the tips that I've given you, and I promise you, you will see a massive improvement in your grades. Otherwise, the ball is in your court. Play ball.